Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Secret of Mana Blind, Part 4. And, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, last time, uh, Sydney joined our party here, and we made, started making our way to Gaia's Navel. But, uh, someone told me, I think it was Nintendo Capri Sun actually commented saying, I might want to go to this village over here, what was it called, like, Kippo Village or something? To, uh, see if I can get a piece of armor. But I don't know if, I have enough, if I'm going to have enough GP when I do, so... Oh, man, I need to get used to this system again. I haven't recorded this in a few days, so I might be a little bit rusty here. Uh, I, I am sucking, man. Argon sees the Reaper. What? Oh my god, I died! That's so sad! Oh, shoot, how do I fix that? Oh, that's not good. Do I want to go back or press onwards? I think I'm going to go back. Oh. <laughs> Because I don't know what to do. I'm going to go back and like stay at the inn. I'll meet you guys back there. Okay, guys. I'm cutting re here really quick before I go back to there. Because I wanted to show that I'm going to buy some stuff for Sydney while I'm here. Because apparently there's some stuff that uh, this place sells for. So I'm going to get a wristband. Uh, this kung fu suit. That's kind of uh, edgy. I like it. And the hair ribbon. Man, that's a pretty expensive one. Jeez. 231 GP. Not bad. What? Do I bought a second one? Shit. Well, I better sell that back right now. Now I can see, like, the mechanics of selling. Does it, like, sell for the same amount that I bought it for? Probably no. Still pretty good. 36 out of 55 GP. Uh, better than Nico, apparently. So, there we go. Alright, so now, uh, I'll equip all that. And like I said, I'll meet you guys back there. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! What? Oh, my God, that was scary. Okay, well, I don't know if I'll show that. I probably kind of have to, because it's the first time I've seen that. I didn't know a bomb could be in that stupid chest. It, like, killed me. Well, it did seven damage, but still. Oh, I reached level four, too, so what a time to cut in. All right, back to my trek back. Okay, guys, we're back. I guess I can cut in now just to show me picking up that candy. Thank God it's not a bomb again. That was... Oh, my God. Gotta be wary of those chests from now on, I guess. Of course, I'm still gonna open them. I don't really care if, like, I get hit like that. Uh, oh, jeez, look at this. I'm on a roll with these things. Let's see. Fut. Fut. Yes, fut. I, I said fut. Uh, I really should have bought some candy while I was at the store. Oh, by the way, speaking of the store, uh, I realized shortly after I cut away from there... Oh, man, we're right here. So I could have just come... Oh, my God. So I wasted all my time going back to that stupid inn. When I could have just come here. See, I didn't see... I didn't know how far away this village was from that crossroad, so... Still couldn't have hurt to check, I guess. Man, that was stupid. Either way. Yeah, so I didn't realize that uh, Sydney already had a kung fu suit, so my buying one was totally superfluous. But I sold it back, and uh, here we are now. Alrighty. And as you saw, I got some, like, weapon skill-ups, and I think Sydney leveled up once, so that was cool. Man, what a start to a video. I'm like 10 minutes into this recording. This is Kippo Village. Yup. And though I don't even know how far I am into the video, probably like 2 minutes. Dad owns the store here. Really? Well, let's see what he's got for us. Let's see what you got. Man, your dad looks very familiar. What a surprise. Alright, let's see. We got candy. Elbow pad, which is for both of us. Kung Fu dress. That's the one that uh, Nintendo Capri Sun was talking about. I do have enough for it. Uh, chain vest. Hmm. Do I want to invest that? I'll, I'll only be left with 20 GP. That could be vital in my survival, though. Shoot. Well, you know what? Uh, he recommended it, so I'm going to go ahead and take it. Because I do have enough, so there you go. And I think I'm just going to spend the rest on some candy here, just so I can keep myself alive. And now I'm totally dirt cheap broke. Dirt cheap broke. What an expression. Uh, how about you, sir? You're very flagrant. To the north is Guy's Naval. Dwarves live there. Cool. So from north here, is there like another north passage? I, I don't know. This game's got passages going every which way. I heard about that kingdom. It's too laid back here. Wait, what? I think I read that wrong. I heard about the kingdom. It's too... Okay. Oh, I guess he wants to move to the kingdom and suffer. My son Dialuk's too big. Oh my god, Dialuk! Jeez! Huh. 
I wonder if it's the same dialect or if there's like a brother thing or just coincidence. I don't know. I gotta assume it's the same one, but look at this tree. I love these big trees with the trunks. That's great. What did you do? Oh my god. This my home. That miss is upstairs. <laughs> that guy is so funny. He's like flexing or something. He's doing butt flexes. My husband's brothers all look alike. Really? Is that so? Man, this place is cool. I don't know why I'm controlling Sydney during all this. This is kind of crazy. Uh, I'm going to switch back to Argon, I guess. Mm -hmm. So is there anything else here worthy of note? Uh, any secret passages and trees here? Because I remember someone, I think it was Pixcalibur123, along with a bunch of other useful information about like stats and stuff, uh, he left a comment saying, I could either go to the forest or Guy's Naval now. But I can't see any other way to go, so I guess I'm going to Guy's Naval up here. Unless it splits off up ahead on the way to Guy's Naval too. Oh, by the way, I don't think I ever noted this yet. Uh, I went through this. I went to this, because a lot of you guys told me about this, actually, the action grid. And I set both uh, myself and Sydney to that spot on the action grid, because that seems like it'll be most beneficiary to me. And it seems to be working so far, based on what I've seen in the little bit of off-screen, like, trek back. The useless trek back to uh, Pandora. Either way. Let's move on to uh, unexplored areas for once. Oh, I reached level 5. What do you know? And another chest. Please don't be a bomb. Come on, come on, come on. Medical herb. Uh, what is that? I think that cures poison. That's what someone said like two videos ago. Man, the AI controls this way better than I do. I don't even have to do shit. It's great. Um. Oh my god. He scared me. These bug eyed guys. Oh crap, I'm poisoned. Oh, Sydney's poisoned too. No! Get your face out of my place. Get away from my girl, yo. Thank you. I have to be mindful because those chests that the en enemies sometimes drop take a while to actually appear. So, I can't just blindly run on it. I might miss a chest that could have something useful in it. You never know. That's a cool bridge down there. There's just no railings. It's great. Oh, hey. Oh crap. Uh, do I want to heal that? The poison seems to go away pretty soon, though. It does do its number of damage, though, so... It's quite annoying sometimes. Can I, like, fall down this? It looked like I could for a second. Hey there. Arr. Yeah, buddy. Man. Are those, like, rocks or skulls in the water? I can't even tell. My TV sucks. Dude, done two damage, two superfluous damage. All right, buddy. Man, I'm starting to get the hang of this thanks to the freaking action grid that I was able to finally set. Haunted forester guys. Oh, so that's the forest he was talking about. Well, um, shoot. I'm gonna just go ahead and check it out. Like, why not, right? Do a little bit of exploration. I mean, shoot, he said it was a lot harder than the guy's navel, because this isn't where you're supposed to go quite yet. But I'm up to C, at least. And I am just sucking majorly here. LOL BUCKETS WORKED! Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna use some candy on me. Yes. Sydney will be fine. She's only missing, like, 20-some HP. See, haunted forest or guy's navel. Well, what's this way then, huh? Stupid sign. Oh, it's cannon travel. Okay. Yeah, I recognize this. Maybe we'll be coming back to that. Hell if I know. Maybe I should take that right now. Man, look at all of the freaking flowers. And what the hell is this guy? Oh, I thought he was an enemy. I can talk to him, though. I, shoot. There are many monsters in guy's navel. I saw the floodwaters creep sweep some kid into it. Oh, jeez. That's brutal. We'll probably be finding that kid if I know anything. Oh shit, not another one. Oh my god, it's this place. Okay. Um. Oh fuck. <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> Dude, oh my god, she's. Holy crap, okay, this is not safe. I just saw her take like 20 something damage. I'm getting the hell out of here. I might try to come back there later, though. I don't know. I'll probably have to come back there later, won't I? But for now, I'll just, uh. I'm not gonna take my chances on that. I really don't trust my chances. 
That seems like something that pros would be doing, like going to Death Mountain, like, right away in Zelda 2 or something. And I know I did that in my LP of Zelda 2, but that wasn't blind, so there you go. It seems like, like, you, like, swing a hit and then, like, it, sometimes the damage comes a little bit later than your actual swing. Yeah, like, right there, and the damage just appears, like, a little bit later, so that's cool. Oh, those are buzz bees. I don't think I knew that yet. Ah. Oh. So we're just going in concentric circles. Is that what's going on here? Is like a spiral? It's like a navel? Oh my god. Arr! Dude, don't swing in the wrong direction. That's just silly. It seems like if you swing the wrong direction, though, and like expend all your energy, uh, then like. Then, like, you can swing again at the enemy anyways just to stun him. And in the time that he's stunned, your thing will recharge. And I'm just sucking. Oh, my God. We're doing, like, two to three damage at this guy at a time. Look at this. All right, thank you. My goodness. I could not have sucked more against that Busby. Dude, am I going to suck against this one, too? Please don't suck. I'm going to switch to Sydney for a bit because I feel like it. I don't know. It's going to be fun just, like, switching between these characters. It's great. Yeah, I gave Sydney the spear, by the way, because I like the longer range of it better than those spike knuckles. Oh, also something I should bring up in the from the comments of the last video. Finally, the uh, issue of whether or not I'm going to be going for 100% in this... Oh, yeah, level 5. Not bad. 100% in this game came up. And to that I say, I'm going to try my best to like get everything that I can... I, I highly doubt that's going to mean getting 100%, but it could. I have no idea. Punch glove. Oh, dude, I thought that was like a weapon for a second. But then it just like punched me in the groin. That was unfortunate. Oh, my goodness. Where are we? This place is no. This place has nothing to do with dialogue, does it? I want to go to Eleni's castle in the haunted forest. Okay. What? What, we're not allowed to go this way yet? Are you serious? But I was told to go this way. Oh, okay, I can go this way. Wait, this is Nico, isn't it? Meow, we meet in a strange place, purr. Need anything? <laughs> Not from you. Uh, oh, I'll save the game. Probably for a price, won't he? I bet it's a corrupt save. Who knows? Because Nico just seems... Apparently, according to all those comments I got in that one video, Nico's all bad news. Oh yeah, this is nothing of importance. What if I go there, go in there, uh, in that one cave controlling Argon instead? Will, will Sydney pipe up and stop me from going that? Dude, shut up. Not shut up, don't go in there, dude. Why did I say shut up? I wasn't saying anything totally absurd. Oh no, she, where are you going? Uh, underground palace. I'm not going in, are you going by yourself? Oh shit, I don't want to, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I didn't realize this would initiate some... If I say yes, is she just going to abandon me? I don't want to leave her. I guess we're going to the forest. Okay. I hope you know the dangers ahead of us, though, Sydney. Yeah, she'll be fine. The real Sydney could handle herself there. So there you go. Oh! These guys have, like, a million HP. This is crazy. Oh, hey. Don't be another punch glove or something stupid. Please. Damn it! Damn it! Every time! <laughs> Every time now. Good lord. It seems like they keep doing like one more damage than the last trap did too. Cause like one did seven, the next did eight, the next did nine. It's weird. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm just gonna not even bother with this guy. Cause I don't care to. Uh, Sydney? What are you doing over there? I guess she's just freaking out from the bee. Crap. Have I done anything in this episode? I guess I've done a few things. I've mainly been leveling up, and I got some, like, armor upgrades and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, oh my god, 50 damage? That's what that did? God, that was a crazy critical hit. We're starting to get up there, I guess. Oh, crap. Oh, we're both poisoned. Everyone's poisoned. Great. I cannot ask for a better day. Yay. What am I up to? I'm up to 20 minutes, but I'm gonna cut out a bunch of that stuff at the beginning, so where I'm like trekking around. So I've still got a few good minutes left to go here. Even if I don't, like really. Oh, who cares? Now oh, forget this. Forget this. Jeez. 
Yes, I know. All right, come on, Sydney. No, just run. We don't need to be dealing with the lullabuds. They're not even worth the time. Oh, we can. I can cut these flowers. Well, that's good to know. Why didn't I try that before? See, the thing is, I thought I did try it before and it didn't work. But maybe I'm mistaken there. All right, so I guess we're going to the forest because Sydney wouldn't have it. Jeez. Oh God. Just look. But look at that. I'm. I'm dead. I died. Are you, what? Oh God. They're gonna kick my ass. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna try and get through. Let's see. My god. I hope this castle isn't too far out of the way. But I really don't know. Uh, really quick, I'm probably... It's probably in my best interest to use a candy here. Actually, it's probably my... Dude, don't do that. It's probably in my best interest to actually just go back to uh, the village and heal up. But that's too far away. Can I use this on... No, you can't use it to revive a dead person. Okay. That's good to know. I don't know, I thought it might work, because sometimes, you know, in real life, candy can revive you. Wait, what? There's no way to go. Unless I can, like, cut through something here. Do I need the sword to cut through? Can I, sw can I switch to the sword? Uh, let's see. Oh, man, that's cool. Okay, yeah, I do, I do need the sword here. Is that a guy up there that's gonna, like, kick my ass or something? Can I clear this? No. Oh, shit, where am I supposed to... Okay, there we go. Oh, it's Nico. oh my goodness. Meow. <laughs> yeah, you said the same thing last time we met, sir. Yeah, I'll save the game. Save your game. Mm. I have faith, now don't be slow. Yay, name that reference. Oh, what's this gonna be? Another warp? Is it gonna be a... Is this gonna be a warp maze? Oh, how unfortunate. All right, I guess we're just tanking through this with Sydney Solo for a little while. Hope you don't mind. Balloon level zero. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> What's going on? Why is there a balloon growing out of my face? <laughs> that was great. Was that like a magic spell that one of them cast? That's cool. Hmm. Sydney's not quite as strong as Argon, apparently, so... Not doing quite as much damage. She does a lot of 18s, which I'm happy about, though. Because, you know, well, you all know my history with that number. Shoot, he did it again. Can I, like, escape from this if I just, like, wiggle the control stick? This is just weird. I don't even know what it's doing. It's, like, trying to drag me out. It's probably because it's level zero. That's why it's not doing anything. That'd be my guess, anyways. Okay, Mr. Batty, can you please die? These things are so weird looking. This whole place is weird looking. Like, what's with the red smog? Oh, that's a scary looking guy down there. I don't want to go that way. I'm afraid I'm going to die if I do. What the heck? You're t you can't talk. You're dead. We won't be able to cut this without an axe. I've heard there's a dwarf blacksmith in Gaia's navel. There may be good weapons there. We better go to Gaia's navel first, dude. I was just there. Well, I guess I guess they wouldn't have made any sense that way. Yeah. Well, what about down this way though? Because there's stuff down here too. Evidently. Mushroom gets whacked. Did I kill him? No, I didn't. Maybe one more good thwack. Sweet. I'm not even going to worry about that guy for now. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. These guys are crazy. I don't even want to fight them because they can do, like, 20 damage to me. Oh, uh, what's... Shoot. I'm going to get lost here, aren't I? Frick. No, no. Oh, God. They're spawning them. Okay, I'm, I'm not going that way. No way, no how. Dude, you weren't here last time. You know, I'm probably going to kick this guy's ass and then call it a video, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Black gets whacked, okay. Isn't that like a nickname for Dracula? I have... Frick! Get away from me! I'm going to see if I can kill one of these guys, just because I'm... I'm not going to get anywhere by running away from him, you know? Of course, I might get myself killed by trying to fight him. Dude, they're running away from me, though. I can't get... I can't land a hit on this guy. It's because he's ranged, isn't it? Well, whatever. Get your ass out of my way. Dudes! Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to go over here and hope that this is just a safe spot for now. So, um, I'm not sure what kind of mess I've gotten myself into, but next time we're gonna go to Guy's Naval and probably be able to actually go there this time. Jeez. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.